there you go. And it's out, the six bolts, P27, cut it, or you disconnect, then one side you put in, then the other side out, and in the middle you have your new device. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, and it's morning, morning time. This is what I'm installing. Let me get the bike out. Got to get rid of this cone. You know these cones, right? You know these cones? Well, if you're a parent uh, with a kid age 16 and older, you know exactly what the, you use these cones for, right? For the road test for your kids, letting them uh, learn how to parallel park. Yeah, congratulations to my daughter. Let me show you. She just, take a look. Hey, good morning. It's a big day today. It's a great day today. My father, is 82 years old today happy birthday daddy and my daughter is 17 year old today happy birthday Elatush. exciting day god bless both of them and uh i'm on my way to pick up my daughter now from high school and i'm taking her to a road test the fourth kid that's doing the road test fingers crossed i love you see you soon Elatush. Go. Yeah, she yes. did it. I saw you went a bit too cautious went, over there. I went, too, too far away. I went wait, no, no, no. I set up way too far, and so I didn't know how to fix it. So then I don't know how many times you saw me redo it. Mm, I said, "Is it okay if I reset? If I set myself up again?" Because I, I said, "Is it okay if I set myself up again?" He goes, "Yes, yeah, sure." Because I could have saved it from where it was up, but I rather I wanted to start Perfect. over. And she's off. She's off to school. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Go already. I want to start my day. Kids, they grow up so fast, huh? Yeah. So let me just let me just get rid of this for now. Put it back. I'm gonna take the bike out and install a new product from Custom Dynamics. It's actually a new product from Custom Dynamics. I think it's, it is new, yeah. It's vent, it's turn signals, and running light. Really cool for the Lowrider ST. I'm privileged to be working with them, and I got it. They sent it to me to install, review, and show you guys. And at this stage, I think I'm having too many lights on the bike. At the end of this video, I'm gonna actually ask you which ones I should keep. Which one should I take off? Or should I just keep all of them? I'll have a little pole over there. I'll take the bike out. Nobody likes to work. It's beautiful weather out, actually. You know, we, I'm always complaining about rain, 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 rain. Finally, there's no rain. Finally. And the weather is short, short sleeve weather. The amount of bugs, the amount of bugs I have on the bike. Wow. I never cleaned up the bike. Never cleaned up the bike after coming back from uh, the ride when we had the, the Wilbur's. <gasps> when am I showing this video? When I had the, the suspension installed. So we did a little ride on the way back, 100 miles, tested it out, the bike full of bugs. But today we're going to be working on vent lights by Custom Dynamics. Let me put the cap. I'll wash the bike first a little bit. I'll clean it up so it looks presentable. And then we'll start working. What do you, what do you say about that? I think it's a good idea. Make sure you're always using a clean little rag, not full with pieces of wood or that fell on the ground because you're gonna be scratching the bike. Like I, I didn't scratch, but just realized that there was pieces of wood and leaves because it fell. It fell on the ground inside the garage. Then you scratch the whole, you know, the whole bike when you're actually cleaning it because the rag itself is full. Or just don't be cheap like me and just get a new rag every time you, you clean. They literally made this machine for people that just love 
not to work hard with rags and, uh, and cloth and whatever and just have fun, waste gas and energy and battery in this. I just love this machine. It's pointless, but it's so much fun. This goes 160 miles per hour uh, wind blowing, wind power. So it's as if we were riding 160 miles per hour. See how fast my Harley gets to? 160. Okay, let me get things ready. It's actually a very easy install. Just taking pretty much the, uh, the windscreen off and the fairing off. Total of maybe 10, 12 bolts, plug and play, custom dynamics, you know, they do all their stuff, plug and play. So anybody can do this. Uh, I'm just gonna set it up so I don't make things messy over here. And let me get the Torx using T27. Let me make sure exactly, and I'll let you know. It's windscreen T20 for sure. This is the T27. This is my uh, Clockworks 8-inch flare, and I love it. I just installed it a few, a few weeks ago, and I've uh, been riding it ever since. Looks great. I, the color I got it is actually bronze. Gives me great wind protection, sound and noise protection, everything. No buffeting. It's so nicely streamlined. The flow, the airflow on it is great. Yeah, I can recommend. I'm 5'10". 5'9 and a half, 5'10. It gives me great wind protection. You know, there's just only slight uh, air wind blowing on the top of my helmet, but it's it's clear air. It's not like not buffeting. It's not not vibrating my helmet or or uh, disturbing my vision, you know, when your head uh, wobbles around. No, there's no, not, nothing of that. It comes in uh, smoke, smoke gray, comes in black. Different colors, they have the whole uh, colors collection. Um, and I, yeah, by the way, I have links below where you can pick up all these items. Anything I'm talking about on this video, I have links below in the description area. So I'm real. I like it. I, before that I had, uh, I, I had clear view shields, which was good. Gave me good wind protection, just as good as this, but it was an old man's, <laughs> it looked like, and it was, it was, an old man's uh, windscreen, archaic somewhat. It's not a cool design as this one. I really like this. There you go. And it's out, uh, six bolts, T27. Let's put them aside. Next is the bolts of the fairing. I'm not gonna show you because there's so many videos out there. Also T27, I, even I did a few videos of it. So, I mean, if you don't know this, then search up removing an ST fairing. The two winglets are coming off. By the way, at this stage, I need to go get some kind of pro uh, cover or protect, uh, protecting uh, for the front fender. Because the front fender, we're gonna be moving the fairing off. When we get closer, we're gonna be moving the fairing. I, want, I don't want it to hit or scratch, so. Got some more of these rags, microfiber rags. T27, easy, easy peasy. You know what, I'll actually bring the camera over so you can see, look, take a look. You see, these bolts, these torque bolts, boom. And this one, and then I have the last one over here, and that's it. Okay, got it, now let me put the camera back. At this stage, I, uh, this stage, let me tell you that I uh, installed new suspension to the bike. I didn't install it. I had EPM performance had had uh, installed Wilbur's Nevo mat suspension on the bike, uh, and I took it riding from from there down in uh, down south New Jersey, like 100 miles away, highway, and it was great. But I promised you viewers, you guys, that I'm gonna actually test it out in the twist. You see how it performs with the, uh, you know, with the sporty element of it. I didn't get a chance to do that yet. I had bad weather up till now, so I'll do that in maybe t not today, maybe tomorrow. Removing the fairing, and there's a connecting uh, connecting uh, electrical wiring over here. 
of the headlight. Once I take it off, I clip it. Just one plug, oh, easy. This, disconnect that and the whole fairing, the whole fairing comes off. <laughs> the stupidest, I didn't realize how easy this was. Now let me show you the Custom Dynamics light itself. This is, as you can see, fairing vent lights for Softail Lowrider ST. Simple, again, link, link below. The item with the few zip ties, there's no need for even bolts. We use bolts that are, that are currently installed. Instructions that we never read. So let me take a look at it, try to fit it, and then I'll, I'll update you. Okay, I really uh, figured out it's really simple, really. Took the fairing off. You see there's a small little retaining screw over here that holds absolutely nothing. I don't know what it is. Here, I'll show you on the other side. See, it's, it's here, it's absolutely holding absolutely nothing right there. You just take it out, take the proper uh, vent light, put the screw through that little bracket and put it in. Don't put it, don't put it too tight. There's no need for it. Now I'll show you on the other side. It, it fits, but it needs the fairing to be placed for it to stay in place. So what I did is I simply used a little bit of tape on the top where it's unvi unseen, not, not visible. It's just holding it in place till I put the, the fairing on top. And then the cable, you know, you got plug and play, so it's in line. You disconnect one of your, I did over here, one of the, the, the wire going to the signal light, to the stock signal light. I just disconnected it, connected one side that fits on the plug and then go connect back to the rest. You, you know what I'm saying. It's kind of, it's, it's like, it's so simple. I can't, I can't really even explain because it's so simple. It's such a, tapping into a line. You cut it or you disconnect, then one side you put in, then the other side out, and in the middle you have your new device. That's what we did. I'll show you exactly how I did it again on this side. Oh, and, and just test it before you, you close up. So there you see. So test, it's running. Now I'll do the other side. So here's the light. These are the two, the two, parts that you know tap in you tap in so I chose over here uh, one of the wires I chose the wire that goes to the signal light it's right down here I'll disconnect it okay I just disconnected this and now I'll tap in this to here and that to here and then there's no disruption in, uh, in the flow of energy so we literally just put a new item this item into the flow. That silly screw that's just here, retaining, it's not holding anything, so I'm not, not sure what it's doing. This little screw. See this little bracket? That goes over here, and then the screw goes through it. Yeah, just, just so it stays in place. You know, if I let go, uh, actually now it's holding, but I'm just to, to secure it that it doesn't pop out while I'm uh, putting the fairing on. I'll just secure it with electrical tape on the top. See, so it holds so it doesn't fall out when I'm putting the fairing on. Now let's try out and it's working as well. Dude, this is the like a Christmas tree. So many lights. Now I have a... Uh, a lot of little zip ties over here to do some cable man management. And that's it, I'm ready. Let me just put the fairing back on, make sure that everything is working. Hazards. Oh yeah, man, like a Christmas tree. Should I bother showing you how to install, install the fairing? Well, I'm putting the fairing back on. Maybe I'll do it fast forward and put some nice cool music on. Let me tell you something. I'm, an, I'm not an insider, but I know some secrets. Very soon, Custom Dynamics is coming out with the light 
uh, like the Shark Demon for the low rider ST. Hopefully it's in the mail on the way to me already. So what I did is I put the bike, the bike up on a ramp, like small, you know, small little lift. And straighten it out. Gonna do the final tightening. And then uh, I want, I'll do a little review of what I did. like when I look close up you can see fits perfectly on the vents as you see there's a net there's a like a little uh, yeah a net in black so there's no obstruction to the airflow airflow is still going in to those of you that are concerned about you know aerodynamics and stuff like that so there's no disruption in the air airflow nice lights white on the you know inside the amber for the turn signals and turn them on it fits it comes uh nothing sticks out let's turn the lights on okay this is what it looks like i can definitely say that i'm well well lit i'm extremely literally like a christmas tree uh actually it looks very cool let me turn the, the signal light on. There you go. Now I have so many turn signals. I am literally considering uh, removing one of them or keeping all, let me know, let me, wait a second. Let me try the other side. That's very cool actually. Let me do a little walk -in. What do you guys say, is it too much? So that's the, the light setup. A lot of lights in front. Maybe too many lights, what do you say? If you think that, like a lot of people say, the more lights you have, the better you're seeing, the better you can see, good. But if it's uh, looking already like a Christmas tree and you think I should drop a few lights or something, do me a favor, let me know down by the description which light I should drop or just say, yeah, keep them all, they look great or whatever, let me know down by the description. That's it, very easy install. It literally took me a half hour, and that's with me videotaping and stuff and whatever. That's about it. Like I said, all the links to whatever I have installed on the bike is below, is down by the description. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Sandy, watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys, peace out.